Michael Marker, 1 0 defeat today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Uh, the performance uh, and the attitude, the application was, was, was very good. Maybe uh, a little bit of lack of clarity. You know, that will always be my fault. You know, new. New tenure, we're throwing a lot at them. Um, you know, we haven't got a, a second to waste, so we didn't want to waste too much time. Just keep going as as we were. We want to be making a change, and we tried to balance it right and not do too much. But we also didn't want to just leave it alone at all because we'll just be further away from where we want to be anyway. So. The positives is the attitude, the application. Um, we're going to be better for that today. We're already closer to where we want to be because there's going to be a lot of learning opportunities for us there. But I have to say, the, the, like I said, the attitude and the endeavour was there, and I think we, you know we probably deserved something out of the game. I think we had a you know good spells of pressure, momentarily switched off at their goal. Um, which again we found out that good teams can punish you. But look, loads of learning opportunities. The most important thing that. Being in such a short spell is really, I'll be judging the mentality of the lads, and uh, you know, I was pleased with that today. You mentioned the mentality there, and it was mentioned in the press box, and you know, they did seem to be a bit of an uplift both before the game and as the game started. The team seems to be a massive lift from everyone involved, and ultimately didn't get the result today, but it was it must be positive for you moving forward about what you want to do and what you want to achieve. Yeah, definitely. Look, after a defeat, it's always very deflating, um, but there's enough positive signs there after three and a half days that um, you know, we're, we're going to get better. I look in, the, look in the eyes of the boys in there and, and, and they, they want to get better as well so um, you know they've got to keep showing that attitude and that endeavour and then we've got to show a little bit more quality now but that quality will come with more clarity when we're on the training pitch so um, we've got to continue to work really hard every day uh, be the best we possibly can that's everyone around the football club and uh, you know a big a big thank you for me for the fans for you know staying with us I think they can see that we're we're doing everything we can and, th and this group is a group which um, deserves their support because um, you know they're young and they're going to get better. A change of formation we're obviously going forward at the back Alpha moving into midfield with Jaden and Toby what was the thinking behind that? Yeah I just we, uh, wanted a little bit more attacking intent um, we wanted a little bit more um, simplicity sometimes in some of our, our pressing and our defensive shape uh, but again it was a change for the boys so you know they took that on well it was even going to go one or two ways it could have gone horribly wrong and we got it we were all over the place but I don't think we were I mean don't get me wrong there's plenty of areas for improvement for us and we will be brutal on ourselves make no bones about that but at the same time there's plenty of encouraging signs that we've thrown a lot of those boys in three and a half days and they've took a lot of it on and uh, we, we will get better We spoke to Jacob as well and he said you know the first half it took them a while to get going and then at the second half started they did seem to be of an uplift both in the performance and the attacking presence and I don't know what was said at half time but obviously something worked to give that threat going forwards Yeah look there's always a couple of small tweaks here and there and, and the boys took it on and uh, you know I said like, it's got to be full praise to the boys for, for taking that, that information on like, it's always an unsettling time when a new manager comes in but they like I said they've shown real maturity in, in the way they've handled that um, we now got to just focus on, on getting better every day and we've shown with not very much preparation that we could compete with a, one of the better sides in the league and um, we've got to take the positives out of it and um, continue to show that attitude to get better. Because of course the attacking substitutions were made to try and make a difference, to try and get that goal that yeah. the performance did deserve in the second half and I think for you as you'll say it's ultimately disappointing that we weren't able to see that through and get that goal that the second half performance deserved. Yeah definitely, we're always looking at ways to keep that momentum going and um, you've got to give Halifax some credit, they're well organised, they slowed the game down at the right times and um, you know made it very very difficult for us but like I said the, the spirit was there and the endeavour was there and we will, we, we will grow that um, and like I said the, 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 you can see the boys spurred on by the fans when the energy comes on the pitch the energy comes off the pitch and it gives us a real lift uh, we know it's up to us to to spark that energy and you know hopefully they'll spark they, they will spark us like they did today as you know when you came into the into the squad and the team obviously it's quite a young squad one of the youngest in the league and that can work as you say both ways positive because they'll go out there and fight for everything but at the same time there's times in games when a bit of experience will be needed at times yeah definitely you know we're going to need we're going to need our you know, Kevin Locko to come back, he's got a wealth of experience, but again, only 20, 25, I think. Um, so, yeah, we look, we've got a young team, which I like, energetic, and they want to get better. So uh, I'm, lo I'm loving what I see at the moment, um, but we've also got to be brutal with ourselves. And we, we've got to want to, I keep saying the same things, but we've got to want to keep getting better. But that's up, up to me and my staff to keep giving these players everything we got.
And just a word on the fans today who gave you a nice homecoming as you enter the pitch for the first time today. Yeah, look, thanks so much. I'm obviously gutted that um, you know I couldn't deliver the result that, that we all wanted, but um, you know we'll be working just as hard this week to to try and um, you know get those three points on the board as quick as we can. Um, a tough game coming Saturday, and we're going to need them again. That is for sure. And of course, we've got the game Saturday, but Tuesday we've got the Hampshire Senior Cup tie against Farm. We're going to two big games in the week. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know. It's no secret that our squad's quite small. Um, you know, we've got to really look after the players that probably started today, but the game comes at a good time, so we get to top up people who need the minutes. We get to have a look at some of our younger players in and around the group as well. Uh, it's another learning opportunity for us, um, but the, 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 the lads who played today we need to look after, but also the training time is so important for those at the moment to get clarity in what we, what we want to do. So we'll use the game for the benefit of us at the moment to put us in the best possible place for, for Wrexham. Are you in with the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.